Welcome back to the basement yard. How you doing, Dan? Ooh, I like that hat. Right? Nice little pink Lacoste. I had to brighten it up a little bit. You know oh, what you saying? know what? I'm going to brighten up your fucking audio here. Thank you so much. I need to hear you, baby. Let my voice be heard. Damn, you're all over the basement yard right now. What are you talking about? You got that new, you got that new, new. I got that new, 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 new. You're fannied right now. New fannied. I got my, uh, what else do I have in here? I have, uh, well, nothing right now. Yeah, you have nothing in there. But what I will have is my keys, Medi- my, medication. Uh, my medication. My in- inhalation. Yes. And uh, maybe my even little diabetes tester. Ooh, test kit. Maybe like a, maybe some like almonds or some shit. Some almonds. Something to keep my blood sugar regulated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But can't, can't have I, the big man going down on the street. No, but I could fit everything in this basement yard. Fanny pack. Fanny pack. I'm bringing the fannies back, Yo, baby. fannies are fire. Fanny pack, bringing the fanny back. You heard it here on basement yard. <laughs> so go. Are, are these available yet? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, go check the sanagatostore.com. They should they, they be. They should be by yeah. this time. Yeah, now that we have the sample, they should be they, good. They should, they should be gooch. They should be gooch. Yeah. This is fire. Yeah, I like it a lot. I do. I like the color scheme. You yeah. have the shirt on, too. Look at yeah, that Yeah, yeah, which wasn't planned, so double up on both. Yeah, Get yeah. both. Yaming. Yami. I like your hat, too, though. It's nice and orange. Thanks. You, you got like colorful it. hats It's today. got a little ice pop on it. Yeah. I haven't had an ice pop in a very long time, by the way. <sighs> I don't believe that. I really haven't had it. Oh, that's not true. I actually just had a vodka ice pop. Ooh. Yeah, I was, How was in the that? woods. So I was in I was in the woods in Connecticut, and it was like an '80s themed party. I thought it was a '60s. Oh, right, it was party. a '60s party. Yeah, because it was like Woodstock or whatever. Yeah, the fuck. yeah, yeah. I just I don't know why I said '80s. To be it's honestly, right. it's right. <laughs> but like yeah, it was like the '60s or whatever. And um, uh, I was smoking a cigar and drinking a beer early, yeah. so it was a it was a long night, and then. One of the uh, the the women up there, she just came out with all these ice pops. But they were like, you can buy them from a store that they're like vodka and like flavored whatever. And it was yeah. amazing. I'm like, yo, where did you find these? Because I'm going to crush these. How many did you have? No, I only had one of those. Did it fuck you up? It tasted great. I didn't even taste like vodka that all much. Right, like, so I don't good. know how much was in there, but they were fucking good, dude. How many days were you up there? Uh, too was one de- night just like the insane party night yeah yeah yeah. so they do it every year they do it it's called top of the hill because the whole thing is like a cottage and okay. on, on the top of the hills are usually where everyone parks their car but then they move all the cars put a bunch of tables get a dj go crazy oh so it's like the whole community it wasn't yeah, just yeah. like you and your friends no 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 oh. it's like well not the community it's like they all know each other up there it's like on this lake yeah so we know like i mean me personally i know like six or seven houses like six or seven families okay and like they all have their kids and everything come up that whatever and then there's another side of the lake that i'm not really that familiar with there's always the other side of the lake well they know them like you know espo and frankie it's their house up there yeah, but, like yeah, so yeah. they probably know them but i don't really know them because they don't hang out with us like you know on the day to day yeah it's the weird family from across the lake from across the lake there's yeah. another family yeah. yeah so but we went up there they had karaoke big mistake i saw you killing it on instagram yeah me and though. frankie were getting after it. i'm not even gonna lie you two are very good we we do stuff yeah for sure yo yeah. it was so funny because the guy that owns like all the property up there he has a house up there okay and he is just like you will he looks like super mario oh that's basically great. but he looks like uh you know those guys that he has a mustache, right? And like black hair, but it's got like one white streak. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. Like the bride of Frankenstein. And <laughs> like Corella DeVille or something. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And he's always driving around on a golf cart. Only do it with a golf cart, That's right? That's fire, though. Yeah, hell yeah. He has to, you know, show his dominance. Uh, so he, he comes up to me and Frankie as if we're like the stones. And he goes, listen. <laughs> we were the first ones to do it yeah. right because like everyone's up there and there's like a pretty decent crowd of people and like they put it on a uh like a porch so we were kind of elevated so yeah yeah, yeah. Stage, you had a little stage yeah and there was lights and shit so he goes listen i want you guys to really give it to him tonight all right and i was like yo when did i like become this person but in a way he was right <laughs> yeah, no, he Cause, was because you did. Maybe it was the kick in the ass you needed. Well, I mean, I knew I was good. I I was actually being funny because beforehand I kept walking up to people. I was like, "Listen, I don't really want to like shock you later, but uh, I'm gonna do some things up there, and you're gonna not you're not gonna realize how talented I have I am with this voice." Okay, you know, 
I'm not that talented with my voice, but I was just You're like, confident, though. Oh, I got a lot of fucking enthusiasm. I got yeah. a lot of, like, charisma up there. How many songs did you guys do? A whole bunch. Like, did you guys not, not in a row? The, uh, oh, I was going to no, say. No, no, no. We didn't do it in, in a row. You didn't, we didn't do a wanna, whole set. No, no, no. I, I would feel terrible if I yeah. did that. But we we went up. We did Fat Bottom Girls, obviously. Uh, can't, you can't, can't go wrong that. there. Did Hey Jude. We did Somebody to Love. Uh... And um, we stayed on for an extra song, which was so funny. Because, oh, you got an encore? Well, like, it wasn't an encore. It was just that <laughs> the DJ would play songs in between things, so it wasn't just people singing the whole time. Like, uh, people yeah, were yeah, dancing yeah. and shit, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I just kept ripping fireball shots with the DJ, too. It was just disgusting. Man, And I drank fireball. a big-ass bottle of Prosecco to myself. Jesus Christ. It was a lot. That's I have a done, lot of alcohol. Bro. I haven't done that in a while, but I was good. I woke up the next day like fine, which is weird, but it was you know. But oh no, yeah, you were fucked up because I was like, yo, what's the password to so and so? And you were just like, I don't know. <laughs> At that moment, I didn't. Yeah, you're like, I don't know. I didn't know. Any, I didn't know if I was gonna live or die. I didn't know anything. You know? And then I texted back like, okay, lol. And then sorry, my phone. Oh, I think that's, that's your me. phone. Yeah, that's me. Because you got a new phone, kind of. No, but what were you saying? <laughs> no, but um. When you texted me? Oh, when I texted you, yeah. I was like, yo, do you have the password for this thing? And I just got like, I don't know. So I thought he was like mad at me. <laughs> so it's just like, because yeah, I forget, he, you forget passwords all the time. Oh, yeah. I forget passwords all the time. Well, I change them all the time. Yeah. So I'm just like, all right. uh, Okay. So like, and then like three seconds later, I see bubbles and then they disappear. So I'm like, oh, man, I thought I was about to get yelled at. And then I see more bubbles. For a while, bubbles, and then it literally is a two-word response, three words response. I'm fucked up. <laughs> so it took him like ten minutes to send me. I'm fucked up, and then he sent me a picture of like his chin, like this. And you had some bandana on. Yeah, yeah. And you were just fucked up. Your face was beat red. I was like, this kid's gone. I'm not texting him anymore. Yeah, yeah it was a fun night, man. Yeah, I honestly thought you were mad for a second because no, you're no, like, no. I don't, I don't know. Nah, man. You know what it is? Cigars, for whatever reason, they kind of opened me up to be more drunk, and I sucked one down really fast yeah. before anything. Um, the video of me dancing on Keith or whatever, I wasn't even drunk. That was like immediately. I was just feeling it. I had a wig on. So I was like, That's great, though. Isn't that the best, though, when you go into a party like with no prior injuries, let's say? Like, <laughs> like you're not like, you're not like oh, I don't feel too great tonight, oh, or yeah. like, my head's not in it. You're yeah. just ready to go. It just turns on like that. Those are the best nights. Yeah, honestly, my body's weird when it comes to stuff like that because even the night that we went out uh, to see uh, Sam Marill, very funny comedian. You guys should go follow him, Sam Marill. Very Instagram. funny. Uh, but we went to his show, and I remember going there, and I'm like, I really don't like feel well, but I'm going because I yeah. like I, I really want to see him, and uh, I had like a Moscow Mule, and then my body was like. Let's go. Yeah. I was like, this is what we need. I love <laughs> Moscow mules. Yeah, they're great. They're tasty, but yeah. they burn me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be that, burping like, Moscow sugar. mule for a while. It just like burns. Like, yeah. I, and that day, because I, that, that, I stayed out till like 6 a.m. that day. And mm. then I, when I woke up the next day, I felt terrible. Like, that was awful. Yeah. I felt way better drinking a bottle of Prosecco and like a crush and a bunch of like white claws and shit. I'm surprised the Prosecco didn't make you hungover at all. That and that's like, not the first time I've done that. And I honestly, I'm not even trying to sound cool. When it comes to Prosecco, <laughs> I have never opened a bottle and not drank the entire thing. You can't. It's, it's you not can't. like, oh, I'll have two glasses and walk away from this. It's like, I'm carrying this around. No, that's a quitter's mentality. I don't, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. My brother's wedding, like, you know how they have uh, like those cards that are like, oh, you're at table 15. Yeah. They had them attached to mini bottles of Prosecco. Great. And... I, I remember because like not everyone took there. She's like, oh, I know what I'm I'm going over there. And that table where that stuff was was right next to the dance floor. <laughs> so I kept walking over periodically and just grabbing like my Uncle Joe's fucking thing yeah. and just snapping it open and chucking a mini bottle. You have an Uncle Joe? Yeah, I got like nine. Not the same name though, right? No, he's not. He's not Joe Santagato now. I'm a fucking idiot. Why would your dad have a brother named Joe? I don't know. God damn it. You know what? <laughs> George Foreman, the boxer. Yeah, he has like five sons, and they're all named George. Dude, how do you decipher whose male is whose? I don't know. Cause me and my dad are both both Joe P. He has a different middle name, but we're both Joe P. 
Yeah, and true. we're getting mail. I don't know. I was like, listen, what is this? You ever, uh, you ever get like mistaken for him, like by like the government at all? I don't know, but that's gonna be my excuse to never do jury duty. Yeah, because I'd be like, I didn't know it was me. I thought it was him. And he's ever, gonna be like, I thought it was him. Have you ever done jury duty? No. Would you want to do it? Absolutely not. What if it was like a fucking murder? No, definitely not. I don't definitely don't want to make that decision. I would feel like maybe in the beginning you wouldn't want to do it, but then you get into it. Well, if I had to do it Which and I was would. there, yeah, then I mean, yeah, I you know I'd immediately start buying like long coats, like yeah, fucking Sherlock Holmes. Because I, I like uh, like OJ's like all over Twitter all the time now. Yeah, he's a big Twitter. He's guy. He's a big Twitter guy. Get on Instagram, OJ. Why are you putting videos on Twitter? Yeah. Anyway. I mean, you know what? I didn't say that. Someone in his camp yeah. is, uh, is, you know, a little older. Yeah, yeah, let's say so. <laughs> um, it was kind of funny, though, because he was talking about Andrew Luck retiring. And that, yeah. that was one thing I wanted to ask you, too. Uh, Andrew Luck retiring. And then he was like, I drafted Andrew Luck in the fifth round. I wish it happened an hour earlier. He goes, what did I do? He goes, what did I do to deserve this? And I was like, you did a couple things. You did one or two things. <laughs> it was actually exactly two things. Andrew Luck retiring is probably the easiest thing for you to yeah get that's right an now. easy punishment yeah yeah you're, i think you're okay yeah you've been skating by buddy. he he killed them oh yeah you know i think at some point he will say listen like on his deathbed he'd be like i killed him i don't think he will you don't think so no i think he knows everybody knows he did it so like why say what everybody already thinks yeah you know? i kind of think it's like r kelly like r kelly knows he pissed on some people yeah did you see the new Chappelle? No, I didn't. All right, you got to watch that then. It's probably insane. Isn't he it? talks about the Michael Jackson documentary, <laughs> and <laughs> he talks about Michael's uh, affinity for staring at assholes. Apparently, yeah, because he did. One of those kids did say that he yeah. made Michael made him walk to the other side of the room and kind of spread his cheeks so but, he could get a look. But Dave said he did, he doesn't believe them. He doesn't believe the kids. Yeah. I that's I honestly I don't it's very all it, strange it's I know it's just like he's like yo he's like fucking Michael Jackson's dead and this motherfucker caught, like caught two new cases I'll, I'll be, <laughs> he's, like, he's like how the fuck are you gonna be dead and catch cases I honestly thought uh th there was this comedian that I saw one time on stage he had it was a really funny bit I forgot his name but he had this really funny bit of being like you know everyone's complaining about Michael Jackson like with these kids or whatever and he's like but yo I gotta be honest with me when he was with, who was he like married to? That like woman, uh, Elvis's daughter, who whoever it was, but like Lisa Marie Presley. He was like, that was somehow weirder than when he was with. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I know it's like wrong, like morally, yeah. but visually, yeah, it yeah. looks better. And then they like kiss. He's like, you see Michael Jackson? He's like, he should be with a kid. And they kissed on MTV, and it was like super awkward. Yeah, yeah, but uh. That's all strange no matter what. Like, you know, yeah, it's just like, yeah. it's like, ah, he had a weird child that's like, yeah, but why is he playing with toy trucks Yeah, still yeah. as a grown man? I just think some people, like their perversions are just like on another level. And I think Mike had some, but I don't think, you know. You don't think he was staring into little boys' assholes like a I kaleidoscope? Don't, I don't know. I don't know if all of that is true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. None of us know. You know, but it's hard to like in so and so cancel culture days. It's yeah, like, yeah. you know, it's like like you said before, he made Thriller. You yeah. know, so it's like it's very hard to be yeah. like fully cancel. It's fucking Michael Jackson, dude. Yeah, you know. And I, I honestly, I've always been one of those people. Like, I know that if you like listen to his music in a way, you're supporting like. It's hard for me to be like to like that's just a I love Man in the Mirror, man. Yeah, it's a great but I, song. But I don't really I think Michael Jackson's like a weird ass, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't you know like little I mean? boys assholes in the mirror. Uh I don't definitely don't <laughs> like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, don't. No. Oh, yeah, and then uh Dude, that's so weird. First of all, like that's hard to believe. Like I almost want to like wake Mike up and be like, "Can you just explain that because like I've never seen an asshole and be like you know what? I'm going to give this one more second before I look away. It's always been like, oh, shit. Sorry, sir. <laughs> like in the gym, if I saw an asshole, I'd be like, yo, that's it. Now I got to go home and just chill because my day's kind of off. Like what met his quota? Was he just like at some point, he's like, all right, that's enough asshole. Put that asshole away. <laughs> that's enough. Like, is like, is, are we talking about like 
a like a thirty second stare? Or are we talking about a full two minutes? Now I don't know. I don't know if he was jacking that then. A thirty second timeout. You know or are we I'm talking saying? about like a full? Like was he just admiring it or jacking that thing? If you're no, jacking, he was that, definitely you jacking know, that thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, masturbation on the ranch. I think. <laughs> But yo, yo, it's crazy. It's because like it's it's wild when people are that successful and they have like things like that. Yeah. Like yo, honestly, the like Jeffrey Epstein. I don't know if you read up like about all like. I mean, bits and pieces. That, that guy was a monster, bro. The guy, like, so obviously this guy was like, he was a sex trafficker and he was like yeah. fucking like fourteen year olds, like yeah. minors, and it was it was gross. But honestly, as crazy as that is. That is the tip of the iceberg. Oh of yeah, Jeff. Oh yeah, Jeffrey's. Jeffrey's, wild. Wild. dude. I have stuff. I have stuff. I can I? Can I ask you before you reveal the stuff? Let's just get this out of the way. Yeah. Government killed him, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Dude, you know, maybe not the government, but definitely he was friends with the most powerful people in the world, and he pro- they all were probably fucking nine year olds. Yeah. On his island, because by the way, guys got a temple on his island. He has a private island where there's a temple. For what it's a sex- is there a temple there for? A raping children. Yeah, it's a dirty, filthy sex trafficking temple. But so NPR, when they started putting out the stories yeah, about yeah. all these allegations or whatever, Epstein apparently was trying to like slow that down or stop them from doing that. So he was trying to intimidate the editor in chief and, uh, Vanity Fair editor in chief Graydon Carter once found a bullet and a severed cat head outside his home when all this was going down. So Epstein was like, "We have to do something. We have to scare this guy so he stops writing stories about me." Uh huh. Send him a bullet and a cat's head, a severed cat head. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My only question is, is where does a bullet and a severed cat head correlate? Yeah, honestly, if I'm getting that, I'm like like Nick Cage and like National Treasure. I'm like, yo, it's a clue. How do we? It's <laughs> the <good>. Constitution. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be like, yo, how? Chris. I would hold the cat head in one hand and the bullet in the other and be like, a bullet can't do this. What is the what thing? The, what does the bullet signify? Uh Yes. And then what is this? Bullet cat. I'd start like cat bullet. I'd start to, I'm like, wait, where is this cat gun? Bullet. Where's this bullet gun cat? Yeah. Where's this cat of guns? And also, where'd you get the cat? Whose cat? Yeah. You he know probably what I'm bought a cat just to cut its head off. Well, I don't think he actually cut its head off. I think he had one of his like fucking nine year old slaves to do it. Like he's the, yo, this guy's a freak, man. Like I'm telling you, there's, there's crazier stuff in here, right? But. Yeah, those things don't correlate at all. Oh, and he had the the painting of Bill Clinton as a woman in his house. What? He had a painting of Bill Clinton in a dress in his house with a blue dress and like red pumps on. Yeah. Where? In his house. Yeah, where? What I, room? I don't know. Are we talking about like this is in the study. We got Bill above the fireplace and there's books? I yeah. It's a sick freak. That's a sick bastard. Yeah. And they were buddies. Yeah, they did some kids together. And they fucked each other probably. Yeah. But listen to how crazy this shit is, right? Epstein kept an assortment of peculiar items in his Manhattan mansion from lifelike human do- from a lifelike human doll dangling from the chandelier. Whoa, that's creepy and ironic. Dude, how do you walk? Yeah, it is ironic because the guy... Hung himself, apparently. Whatever. But, that guy was a piece of shit anyway. Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, but, yo, if I walked into someone's house, like, I don't even know, like, who's the coolest... I don't even know who's the coolest person I know. LeBron James. Let's say, say uh, yeah, I walk into LeBron James' house. He's like, yo, you have the coolest podcast, man. I want to yeah. do all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. That'd be I walk, fire. walk into his house, and there's a doll hanging from the chandelier. I'd be like, hey, LBJ. <laughs> My Uber's outside. Because I can't with the doll. I'm sorry. Yeah. So he had a doll hanging from the chandelier to a human sized chessboard with scantily clad figurines modeled after his employees. Whoa, say that three times fast. Scantily? What does that mean? I think that means just like. Like sh- slutty? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> the way you did it. I'm slutty. so scantily. 
Ex- exactly, like kind of dressed uh, a little uh, promiscuous. Of his, of his who? Of his employees. Like the fucking maid is. I'd like be the, like if I came in like here. It's like the pawn. You... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The fuck? It's like the castle is like his fucking janitor. Like what the fuck is this? See, there's two things. Naked I'm... janitor. <laughs> it's fucking a piece. He's got a broom and fucking... his fucking dicks out. Hey Zeus, just like fucking all like cleaned up. Yeah. Um. I have two ways of thinking about this. Not that it's normal, so don't fucking jump to conclusions here. But you have to have a lot of money. <laughs> you just went, ha. You have to have a lot of money yeah. to have human like pieces of chess board. Yeah, Cause you gotta think about it. you gotta like ask some motherfucker yeah. to be like, yo, you see you see my uh the, my maid? Make a slutty version out of marble. Yeah. Because I'm trying to play some chess. And I wonder if there was ever ones that he sent back that like weren't sexy enough. Yeah. He's like, yo, get this sweater off. This isn't scantilating. This isn't scantily. I can't get hard off of this. I can't get scantilated off this. <laughs> I can't get scantilated. I'm not scantilated enough. Now, an other frame of thinking that I go into when I think of this mm-hmm. freak of a man... <laughs> a sick dark bastard who's going over to his house who's playing chess? and is okay with that i'm more worried about them that's what i'm saying the people that are going there just being like oh man you still got that thing that thing's great hey yeah. person from your chandelier not only that because like i get that he's like a billionaire so a lot of people would let shit slide like if you're hanging out with a billionaire and he says something that's like weirdly racist and he doesn't you're like okay like I see where this money comes from. It's like, I got my eye on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, 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 like, not that he, like, so things that are, like, kind of racist, where he's, like, hate the NBA. You're, like, okay, is that about because of the sport or because? Why is everybody kneeling? Yeah, like, someone, and you're, like, all right, I'm not going to leave, but I'm going to, I got my ear on you. Yeah, I want to hear, I want to hear the rest of this song. All right, yeah, 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 exactly. I just want to see how it ends. I'm going to stick around for the second verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, dude. If I'm if I'm walking, I'm like, oh shit! You got a lifelike chess thing in your living room. This yeah. is sick. And then I start to notice that Janet, who brought the drinks over, is the pawn. Now I'm like, what's? This is a dungeon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd be a little scared now. I would be terrified. And I'd they... be like, yo, I'm gonna end up on the chessboard. Yeah. I'm not trying to be the fucking. Whatever. Would a part of you be flattered to be a human chess piece? Yeah, dude. I would love to be on the horse. That'd be kind of cool. Like my, All I'm saying my is My dick that, out on the horse with a sword? That'd, yeah. be, that'd be kind of dope. Not, not Jeffrey Epstein's chessboard, just like a chess piece, I'm saying. Like, they model the sexy-ass chess piece after you, and you're fucking jacked, dude. Yeah. To the gills. Like, if, you're yoked, and, like, you, they have, like, gravel, not gravel, marble veins going through your arm and shit, and you're holding, like, some kind of fucking weapon, a sword or some shit. Like a bludgeon? Yeah, yeah, and you're yoked, and you're barefoot, too, and you only have a little bit of clothes on, you're dressed like Tarzan. Yeah, I mean, that sounds great. I just don't want it in Jeffrey Epstein's house. I just don't, I, yeah, I don't want, yeah, I don't, you know. I don't what would you say, honest. something about eyes? Yeah, so he also has uh, individually framed prosthetic eyeballs mounted along a hallway. <laughs> Now, what are you, the Adams family? Why do you have that? What is artistic about that? I'll be honest with you. You like eyes? I'd be poking those eyes, though. Well, they're frames. You can't poke them. Oh, fuck them. that, then. Yeah. Oh, it would have been cool if you could, like... I mean, I would definitely treat it like a like a fish tank at an aquarium. You're like, make this thing <laughs> <Yeah>. move. <laughs> or that thing at Dave and Buster's where you got to touch all the lights. <laughs> I do it with the I'm eyes. I'm so bad at that game, by the I way. I know. Um, he has other stuff. He kept. <laughs> he has other stuff. This guy is a fucking freak. Yeah, mind you, I don't want anyone to forget there's a temple on this guy's island. Yeah. God only knows what's in and there. It, Haven't been there yet. It's super temple-y, too. It has, like, a gold dome and shit. It has shit. a gold dome. It looks like a mini Taj Mahal. Yeah. But. Uh, the Taj m- m- rape everybody. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> That's what he did. He's a piece of shit. I'll tell you this. Yeah. I'm never happy somebody's dead. I think the world's a little better out this guy. Being oh, there. I think that's easy. I think it's safe to say. Yeah. I mean, if we found all this stuff, you know. You know? It's it's in someone's. I would even go as far to say is that if that if if we didn't know about any of this and someone walked into his house and then shot him in the head and they got arrested, and they'd be like, why'd you do that? And you'd be like, yeah, just walk in and go to floor three. They'd be like, 
you know what? Let's let him go. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, because you know, woman Bill Clinton, and then he also has he has he kept prosthetic breasts by a bathtub that he could play with while bathing. You can't even take a bath without sex. Yeah. You can't like you gotta just like pinch nipples while you're bathing. You know what I'm saying, Jeff? Come on. I'm just saying again. Not the worst part, but not, when you add I all st- of it. Yeah, I know. I know. If I stayed at somebody's house, not Jeffrey Epstein's house, and they had titties by the t- bathtub, I think it's a little weird, but I'm not saying I wouldn't touch them. No, I'd, I'd give them a ride. You know what I'm saying? I'd Like a little bongo slap. Yeah, no, I'd give them a, I'd give them a spin, but all I'm saying is like when you got all the other things, yeah. way too many toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to pick spoiled one. spoiled now. It's, you got to pick between the titties, the eyes. The hanging chandelier man, the chess pieces, Bill Clinton. You got to pick one. The temple. Jeff, you got too much. You he's got a, too crazy. He's a spoiled, he was a spoiled perv. He's a spoiled, perverted, freak fucking bastard. That's what he is. <laughs> and I'm sure there's other stuff, but I, you know, I was reading this thing and it was just. Yeah, if you were super rich though. No. Go, because you're rich. Yeah. <laughs> got him. Uh, <laughs> got him. No, if you were super rich. Yeah. Do you think money makes you kind of weird? No. No, no. no one gets to this because of money. You I'm are, not saying. I'm not saying. Guy, I'm not saying everything he did. I'm just saying like, money makes you weird. Yeah. Uh, probably. I mean, you know, what like, it is? would you have it like a titty on the side table? I don't know. See, you know, but that's the thing when, when you're so rich to the point where this guy literally like never in his life. Well, I don't know about in his life. Cause I really don't know anything like fuck that guy about though. whatever. No, but I'm saying, <laughs> no, I'm saying, I don't know if he's ever, if he's been like this rich his entire life. I don't know that. Yeah. But the amount of money he had, there was never a thought that I can't have anything. So it was like, whatever idea I can think of, I can make that. Yeah, that's probably what happened. So it's like, and you then keep also pushing the boundaries of what you can have, and then there's titties next to the tub. Yeah, and then... See, titties next to the tub is funny until you think about everything else this fucking asshole did. Oh, and another thing, this the fucking bastard had, had like a, a bathroom on one of his houses or whatever, and there was like dentist equipment in there. Wait, like, and you like, know like, he's not getting his teeth cleaned in oh, the bathroom. Oh, he was probably using it on kids. That's what I'm saying. Or, or on him. I don't know. Uh, uh. This guy was... Yo, this dude's crazy, dude. No, Literally no, no. everything you could possibly dream of, of psycho having, he yeah. had. And the worst part about it is more people knew about it than than we did. Yes, and that's why That's what's even worse. And that's why this dude died in the prison the way he did because he committed suicide. But think about all the because he was cool with Trump, he was cool with Bill Clinton. I don't and buy that, it. Yeah. And it was like all these people. It's like, yo, you don't think these people were flicking the nipple when they took baths at Jeffrey's house? That's what I'm saying. Or they, you know, you don't think Bill posed for that goddamn painting? He, yo, imagine. He got in the dress, man. I'm w- telling you. W- would you put it past Bill Clinton to dress up like a woman and get painted? I don't think I would. No. Guy's a sexual freak. Also, here's what I'll say, too. If Bill Clinton liked to wear dresses, cool, Bill, do it. Wear a dress. I don't give a shit. But if you don't like wearing dresses and your buddy Jeff paints you in a dress and puts it above the fireplace... You're going back? To, you go where? I'd be like, if I walked into your apartment, yeah, and there was a framed picture of me in a dress with lipstick and a big wig, I'd be like, "See ya. I'm not doing this." Oh, it's a, it's a, oh, yeah. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine that. It would be terrifying. Now, yeah. I think if I had a portrait of you. Anyway, that's weird. <laughs> just you like dress normal. Like if it was if it was just like On your you, nightstand, I'd be like the fuck. Like dr- like G- Great Gatsby, just like drinking like champagne, like you like going like this. Yeah, that's weird. There's like a candle in front of it. I'm like, yeah. ew, what is this? Yeah. Now, dude, I can't even. This is the craziest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> now this is the man that will send a fucking bullet and a cat head to a person to try and intimidate them. You think he he was gonna sing like a canary probably too? Who 
Jeffrey? He, yeah, he was going to be like, I sucked all their dicks. Yeah, Like probably. some weird shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah. And like they're all probably relieved because he's dead now. Because they, oh, he would have yeah. They would have found everything. He would have told everything. And he would have like, you know what I'm saying? But. You don't run sex traffic rings by yourself. That probably would have been the start of like the most insane dominoes fall. Do you think we'll ever have that? Like in this country, like where like, do, like initial domino falls, and then if we go, it actually makes it all the way to the last domino. You, you, you're it, talking you about don't. If, like these rich people who are like, yeah, right? I think so. I think you think happen. at some point it will yeah, happen. Absolutely, and I think there's probably a lot of evidence, like because this dude had multiple estates. He's got a fucking temple. I'm sure there's something in yeah. there, and like records of whatever, blah blah blah. And now we're piecing it all together. Like I think some stuff's gonna come out. Yeah. Every day something comes out about this fucking guy. I know. Apparently, I just learned about the cat head. You know. Isn't it weird how when you die, all this news comes out? No, I mean, yo, I, they were doing an investigation. They That's were, what like, I'm saying. Finding all these things. Like, he just got to prison. Right. So was he there like two weeks or something? I don't know, but apparently he said that someone's trying to kill me, and then, you know, he got killed well, the next yeah. week. So. Some guard has three point two million dollars in his bank account. Oh yeah, actually not his bank account. It's stuffed in the walls. Yeah, you know. But he, I would even think about it though. Let's just take him out of the equation. Okay. You're a prison guard, right? Somebody comes up to you and is like, "Hey, we want this guy." Right. And we'll give you X amount, say five million dollars. Yeah. You taking care of business? Say like. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> now, a guy like that needs to die. I, to, to be very honest with you. Uh, the world's better off without that guy. Anyway. Absolutely. Let's just say that. But the world would have been even better off if he stayed alive. Of course. Because then, then they we would have got, got everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Hillary was there too. I don't know. Now you just start talking to Hillary, being like, "Dude, wait, you don't know, you don't know Bill's on this plane doing shit." She knows. His plane was called Lolita Express, which sounds like a dope club. Yeah, like I would go there at night, you know. But like, when this is how freaky you are, though, you don't even try to hide these things. That's how freaky you are that you named your plane the Lolita Express. People have to know that, dude. That just sounds like a Spanish party bus. Yeah, that's what it is. Or like an old Spanish porn. Yeah. You know? This guy's a fucking, like, how? That just, like, goes to show you, though, when people have so much money and power, like, people will do anything for your money. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was probably helping out all these people with, like, whatever their campaigns or this and that. So they just let all of this slide. Yeah. Like, I don't know how that's like even possible. Cause if I met somebody and they were like, dude, I, I'd be like, get the, dude, I walked to this guy's house and there was a, 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 I thought it was a human hanging from the chandelier, but it was yeah. like a, a sex doll. Money, money makes the world go round, buddy. Dude, I don't need fucking money that bad to be involved with that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Well, then it means you're, you're partially a scumbag too then. What? Not you, I'm saying. Oh, like, if you like go along with it, yeah, yeah. Now you're like part, like yo, you know this shit's going on. You're an accessory. And apparently he had fucking pictures of like naked, not but, like paintings of like young children yeah, framed like, in like his Like laying house. on like tigers and shit, like yeah. weird shit. Oh. Anyway, I think it's. A- I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Yeah. That's what Jeffrey should have done. Piece of shit. Yeah. Freaks, man. Uh, anyway, I think this is a good time to get to the sponsors. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. What? No, nah, man. It just it just makes me sad that... that, that, that yeah, guy. man. And listen, I'm not trying to, like... We got we got to make fun of it. I a don't little care. Bit. I'm not saying anything about. Guy the had a plane called the Lolita Express. We're gonna make fun of it. Yeah, come on, man. Like the guy had titties on by the bathtub. Come on now. Like where you would put soaps. Yeah, he's Jesus. got nipples. Like I gotta say something about it. Dude, even Dave, yeah, like I was saying, like the Dave Chappelle thing. He literally opens up like the special. I won't like ruin anymore for you. He's like, 
Anthony Bourdain had the greatest job in the world. He flew country to country and ate amazing food and had conversations with amazing people. And he killed himself. And then he goes, I knew a guy in law school who got married in law school. I told him not to get married. He ended up getting married, got divorced in law school, works at Foot Locker now. Never once thought about killing himself. <laughs> I was just like, yo, Dave is going after everybody in this one. Yeah, Dave Chappelle is just a fearless person. Yeah, I was just like, dude, I could not have the balls to say that. Like, Yeah. I mean, that's what separates some people, I guess. Oh, man, he does this whole bit on trannies. You got to watch it, man. It's <laughs> kid. Sponsor. Oh, uh, yeah, to the sponsors now. Let's stop now, and we have to do the sponsors. Let me get back to this. Um, all right, first one we have up is SeatGeek, uh, which is our favorite app to use um, when buying tickets to shows or baseball games, which, by the way, we haven't been to, like, any baseball game. I've been to a couple. You've been slacking in your, in your Mac. And... Well, we went to, like, two, I think, and now we have to go to another. But yeah. we'll get on that SeatGeek. But also SeatGeek, playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. Playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. Um, but it's, a, you know, I just like their interface. I think it makes it very easy to buy tickets. Like I said, you get tickets to concerts or games or, you know, whatever you need tickets to. Um, I use it all the time for everything. And uh, the best part about it is that when you go on, they'll show you if the price um, of that ticket is good or bad. If it's, like, dark red, you're like, stay away from this. And if it's, like, dark green, you're like, okay, this is a very good price for this ticket. Um, so, you know, it helps it helps you out in that uh in that regard, um, but SeatGeek will give you $10 off your first SeatGeek purchase. All you need to do is use the promo code. Uh, so just download the app, use the promo code BASEMENT. You get $10 off your first purchase. And again, the promo code is BASEMENT for $10 off your first purchase. But check out SeatGeek. Uh, love working with SeatGeek. I've been using them for years, so check that out. Um, next, we have... OpenFit, which takes all the complexity out of losing weight and getting fit. It's a brand new, super simple streaming service that allows you to work out from the comfort of your living room in as little as 10 minutes a day. So you don't have to go to the gym or any of this travel or you don't have no more excuses like, oh, you know, it's cold out or it's snowing or whatever. Living room, tablet, iPad, whatever. You can work out like that. Um, you can sculpt your body in the convenience of your own home. You know what I'm saying? That's the best part about it. You can work out with amazing trainers like Andrea Rogers uh but yeah it's affordable and accessible and you get what you put in you can see results in as little as the first 30 days uh if you do it right you can even lose up to 15 pounds in just the first 30 days you know what i'm playing um but yeah open fit has changed the way people are working out and you can text our code basement to 30 30 30 uh to join in on the fitness journey that is personalized for you all right um, but yeah, if you're like looking to get into it, start a new routine or whatever, like I said, comfort of your own home, boom, pop in the open fit, bang, bang, you got anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, all you got to do is text basement to 303030. You will get full access to open fit, all the workouts, all the nutritional information, totally free. Uh, again, just text basement to 303030. Check it out, people. Um, next, our final sponsor for today is my bookie. They're back. You know what I'm saying? Football season coming up. A lot of sports to bet on. You got playoff baseball coming up. Hockey's coming up. There's a lot of things you could bet on and you can, and they have, uh, like probably the biggest book it has more is the best bonuses and more like MMA odds than any other sports book, uh, period. Um, you want to bet on like I said, baseball, basketball, whatever, or, you know, UFC 242 is even coming up. Yes, it is. Um, you know, you got Dustin Poirier. And Khabib. And, 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 Khabib, and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov. I can never say his name correctly. Rocking with Dustin on that one. You're rocking with Dustin? Yeah. I'll rock with Dustin. I'm rocking with Dustin on that one. I like Dustin a lot. Um, but, yeah, you can go to my bookie. It's the only sports book I kind of, like, recommend, okay? They take good care of uh, – us whenever, whenever we bet and they pay out fast so there's that and if you sign up with the promo code basement uh, my bookie will double your first deposit match your cash match your cash so if you put in $200 you'll have $400 to play with because they will match your deposit your uh, visit my bookie online today that's M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E and don't forget the promo code basement uh, bet win get paid people okay I love all those things I love all those things that was nine, nine, nine. But yeah. 
Um, also, in in you know, since we're talking about like weird news, <laughs> you know, we're talking about Jeffrey and uh, I really wasn't didn't know where we were gonna go, Michael Jackson today, but. Uh, <laughs> There's another thing I saw online today. I'm like, what? This is kind of... It's just funny. Like the, the, I'll read the headline. Astronaut denies claim she would allegedly... I'm going to restart. Astronaut <laughs> denies claim she allegedly committed what would be the first crime in space. Kind of fire, too. So what do you think a space crime is? Um... Like, cause when I read that, I'm like, would this bitch steal like a piece of the moon? Yeah, would you piss on like piss on Mars or something? Yeah, like, what is a space crime? I don't know. You I don't, didn't even know there was space law. I didn't know there was space law either. Technically, that's not Earth. I don't abide by the law. Yeah, I don't think there's space rules. Like, where does the law end? Is what I'm trying to say. I think as soon as you leave Earth's atmosphere, you could do whatever you want. Kill. Yeah. Just kill. Yeah. But you can't come back because now it becomes law. But if you kill and stay in space, you just kill. Not only that, but who's going to arrest you in space? Oh, they got space cops. They don't have space cops. Yeah, they do. There's not one cop in space. You don't think there's space cops? There's no space cops. I looked into it. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine if you were a space cop. That'd be pretty fire, though. Yeah, you're like, you have your own little personal fucking, like, (laughs) They, why they all do make that noise. Why yeah. do they do that? It was like the, like the Jetsons. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, the Jetsons are great. Yeah. The Jetsons are great. Daughter that, Judy. Yo. Mrs. Jetson? Fucking get it. That's a fire housewife. A fucking robot, too. I'd bash that, too. I wouldn't bash the robot. You, you would sex it. Sex it? Like, like you would have sex with that robot. No, I wouldn't fuck the robot. I don't fuck robots. I don't fuck with them. I'm scared of robots, dude. You don't think a malfunction can happen and something happens to your like, penis. penis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have extremities. Yeah, I'm afraid that if I go inside a robot and then there's a malfunction and like closes up, it tenses up. Yeah. My dick's gone now. You know what's weird? Um, <sighs> you lost it. It's okay. No, no, no. I have it. I just, I don't think I should You're say You're confused it. about no, the space. No, I, I just don't think I should say it. But I'm going to say it. Uh, okay. You know, if anyone ever tried to make me suck their penis, I'd bite it off. You'd bite their dick? Yeah. yeah. Would you tell them you're going to bite it? Or no, you'd surprise fuck no. Them? I would surprise them. I'd be like, bah! Oh, so he's like, <sighs> he, so he's probably in his mind like, oh my God, this is about to work. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he gets his shit. Would you bite it off or you just give him like a nibble so he'd back off? I would Kobayashi that thing. You would bite it off? And eat it. But then what? You would eat it? Yeah, just to send a message. Just to send a message. Damn, dude. I'd eat his dick. What if he's got like a pretty decently sized dick? That's a lot of chewing. I've handled. Whoa. You've handled more? Like more food. Than no, like a big I, penis. I don't. I don't doubt that. I'm just saying. Not, like, not a bigger. I haven't handled a bigger penis. What I'm saying is I've handled bigger foods. Yeah, yeah. I had like octopus last night, and it was kind of thick, but like, and it was kind of chewy. Yeah. So I'm like, if this was a whole man's penis. It would take some time to get it down. Is phallic food weird for you? Some people don't like eating phallic food. Nah. Like I knew a guy that broke bananas specifically because it didn't want he didn't want it to look like he was sucking a penis. Well, that guy's like fucking hyper masculine, like yeah. relax. We were also like seventeen, and he yeah, was but, like, "Yo, I ain't sucking no fucking banana." I was like, "All right, dude, relax." Like, Potassium, oh, no not one, fucking, not gonna come in yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, first of all, no one's like w- watching you. Like, yeah. <laughs> You fucking dude, skinny the banana. He's so gay. Yo, why don't you eat that banana, you gay boy? It's like, dude, I, I'm cramping. It's like, like, I, I, <laughs> it's okay. like I'm, I'm really trying to turn over a new leaf and be healthy. That's yeah, what I'm trying I to do. I don't understand. Like, there's people out there that will do that. Nah, dude, you ever see Frankie eat a cucumber? Sucks F- that thing down. Yeah, dude, it's fucking hot. Actually, that doesn't surprise me at all. That kid's mouth is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What does that even mean, dude? Yeah. I've seen the, I've seen this. You kid, have to be there, dude. Listen, I've seen this kid suck a cucumber like you would not believe, man. It kind of changes. Dude, he bit that onion that time. Yeah. Who, how did he do that? I don't know, man. He bit the shit out of that onion though. He's fe- got a fearless mouth. That's what it fearless is. Fearless mouth. That's fearless mouth. Yeah, and I, like I don't have that. No, I'm my mouth is full of fear. Yeah, I'm and bacteria. Yeah, you know. Well, all of our mouths are. 
you know what they say like there's like thousands of bacteria in your mouth yeah and they say it's like good bacteria i don't what's that i don't know but bacteria has a stigma has so your i'm kind of just riding with that has your dog oh no the thing is is with the hand sanitizer they said it clean, cleans 99 percent of all germs but it's like yeah but it like kills the good germs what the fuck are you talking what's about a, isn't germs bad dog? what's a good germ yeah. tell, tell me yeah Scientifically break down a good germ to me. Is that kind of like with the spiders where it's like, oh, that's a good bug. Yeah, yeah, it kills yeah. Other, I was like, it's in that same realm, you know, like when we were talking about that, like, I don't want any bugs. Yeah, yeah. In my house. And the thing I don't is, want germs. I don't want any germs. Yeah. Clean my shit up. Yeah, that is weird. Good bacteria. Also, like yogurts, like made with like bacteria or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, and, what? And then who's figured out that cheese is just old? Mold. Yeah. Like, who was like, let this thing get old. It'd probably tastes better if it does. Strange. Think about all the people that tried all these foods for the first time. I know. I that's know. That's fucking wild, dude. It's and fucking another, wild. And another thing that's crazy, too, is, like, how we've, like, we just, like, like, original people hunted, right? Yeah. And now it's like, we could just go buy chicken in a store. Right, right, right. That shit is mad weird. Also, do you think... I'd like, be dead if I had to hunt for my food. <laughs> well, yeah, dude. I mean... Imagine, like... Pathetic. Imagine, like, after the show, like, we went and hunt, like, hunted. Yeah, it would take all day, dude. You know how hard it is to catch a chicken? Dude, these guys get dressed up. I watch them on YouTube, and they get dressed up and, like, sit in a tree with, like, a fucking deer whistle for, like, nine hours going, skuck a -ga. I'm like, I don't even know what deer sounds like that. Yeah, dude, deers are weird sounding. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, yo, these guys are really, he's like, there's an elk there. I'm like, dude, you've been here since six o'clock in the morning. And How are your legs not asleep? He probably sprayed like their piss on him too. Yeah, they do that. Like so they go out of their way to smell like, like urine so yeah. that they feel safe. Cause you know, if you smell piss, you feel safe in the animal world. But it's crazy because in our world, you smell piss and you're like, this is a dangerous spot. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. when I smell piss, I'm like, not a good neighborhood. I got to get out of here because shit's, there's no policing here. Yeah. You know what I mean? But in their world, they smell piss. They're like, my boys are here. Right. So it's a little different with humans and, you know, the rest of the animal kingdom. And listen, I know this is a socioeconomic thing, but like if we go to Queensbridge right now, the streets are so dirty. Yeah. Just does does the street cleaner just make a left turn when it gets there? Like, what's going on? I mean, they clean it. First of all, street cleaning is so stupid to me. <laughs> Where does You're, it go? You are not cleaning. Where does it go? He yo the street sweepers <laughs> in New York City. It's like yo alternate side, get the cars off because we're gonna clean the streets, bro. Are you cleaning the streets? Or are you just like <laughs> sending it in a whirlwind? Because these trucks are driving by with this thing with bristles and just kicking it onto the sidewalk. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, we're going to take all the cigarette butts from this side of the street and we're going to put them over there. Yeah, and then we're going to hope that the wind <laughs> takes it to a different place. I don't understand how it works. Nothing's being cleaned. Now, if it no was water, no soap. Water and soap are the... That's how you clean. Yeah. Not bristles. Yeah. I'm not bristling my anus. When I'm trying to clean that thing, I'm putting soap and water on that bitch. You know what I hate too? When people have those fucking sponges that are those bristles with the juice in the top of it. What the hell are you talking like about? Like they'll have like a brit, like like you kind of have one. What? You have it. What am I talking about? You have it right there, you son of a bitch. Oh, that came with the apartment. Uh, <laughs> you put soap in that. Oh, you do. And it like comes down through the bristles. Oh. You hate those? It's dumb. And also, but the other thing that's dumb too, the shaving cream when you have the, the, the uh, what is it? The the I fuck. I don't know. You know saying. what girls powder their face with? Oh, the p -p 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It like, looks like that. Like it's the like brush, soft. but it's soft, and you yeah. put like shaving cream on it. It Looks who's, like a horse's tail. A yeah, bit. who's doing that? Wait. Oh, wait. What? For your shaving cream? Oh, I don't think anybody. If I saw a man using that on his face, I'd be like, just. Yeah, pack it in there do you not touch your face a lot i don't know i don't like go out of my way to not but i don't know if i i think i do i feel like, like i touch my face a lot i like to yeah like, like i'm, to, I'm to, yeah i like to ponder so i'm just yeah hmm. where are your hands when you sleep again I do you know. do this no one sleeps like this do i sleep like this no i sleep like a bitch sometimes i'm like this 
you sleep I'm like Air Jordan. Yeah, shit. you're taking a jump shot. You're like ah, bang. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I sometimes I sleep like ooh, like I sleep like a bitch. <laughs> I sleep like how girl cartoons sleep. Okay, that's you know hot though. Yeah, like I'll get crawled up in a ball. Yeah. I was watching Euphoria the other day, and Zendaya. Sorry, everyone kills me when I call her Zendaya. Sorry. Is it not Zendaya? No, it's not. It's like Zendaya or some shit. Or right. Zendaya. I don't know. Whatever. If you want to watch like how high school isn't real, watch that show. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Sorry. Everything no. that could possibly happen yeah. happens in that show. Nobody in my school ever fucks someone's dad. Just saying. Yeah. Anyway. They tackled every. That's the problem. Like, not the problem. And like, I guess it's like, you know, whatever. But. Like 13 Reasons Why and Euphoria. They're like, let's tackle the real problems in the high school, which is admirable. But to do them all in one <laughs> shot, in one week, jeez. Have you started watching season three? We're getting a little nah, stankish nah, nah, here, nah, but nah. I'm going to let you know. In the beginning of the show, they have, listen, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, the if you're looking for stuff, go to 13. If you're looking for tips, like yeah, crisis yeah, yeah. help, go to 13 Reasons Why dot info. The whole new season is about them solving, like, figuring out a murder. Like, who killed someone? It's like, yo, if you want to figure out how to solve a murder in your high school, go to 13 Reasons Why. Though. Wait, there's it's high like, school kids solving murders? Yeah. And I was like, this that, this never happened. What is this, Scooby-Doo? I never solved a murder in high school once. I've And also, I wouldn't be allowed. No. My parents would be like, you can't do that. No. You're punished. Where are the parents of the show? Where Why are you are, out with, discovering weapons? Where is the police? How are you getting to the evidence before the police? I don't get it. They're, that, covering, up, they're covering up school shootings now. What is happening? I'm like, these? this is not high school. A kid got pushed down the stairs a couple times. And this is why I've said... <laughs> People got beat shit, up. Yeah, and you shit in a urinal and you, you call shit, it a day. Yeah, so I'm saying you shit in a urinal, you wear sweatpants your senior year, and that's it. You go home. God damn it. Now, I'm not saying that boys can't be boys and do stuff they're not supposed to. That happens. Yeah, of course. Like, listen, I know that at football camp sometimes, like back in the day, someone would jam a broomstick in someone's ass. Yeah. The, uh, but that doesn't also happen while everything else is happening yeah. in the same day. Let's just focus one season Around one, I'll run one anal probing. That's what. That's that's all I ask. That's it. All right. I don't want to see a guy in a get something shoved up his butt, then somebody dies, and we gotta figure it out who it is. Yeah. And then Tony's gay, and then there's a whole. I'm like, what's yeah. going on? It's like, oh, now there's there's a transgender, and then it's like, how are we get? This is like, yeah. It's every single thing is like now in. The it's thing. like fuck, man. It's Give like, me what? one season. Let's have a transgender season, dude. We're not. That's Let's what focus I'm saying. solely on the trans. Let's just go trans. Thirteen reasons why transgender season. Let's hit it. Let's do that. Let's cover. And I'm about that, like, because that's a real thing. I'm about that life. I didn't know any transgender people growing up, so I and I know that it's more like prevalent now because like it's you know safer and it's like you know it's out there more. So it's like yeah, there's people who are come who come out as transgender earlier in their lives because yeah. they feel like they can, which is great. So that is like a whole other thing. Yeah. That you go to high school and like now you experience that sort of thing. Let's let's get a season of that. That's fine. And let's keep. You know, all this other shit. Yeah. Separate. Let's not go this route. Transgender girl possibly murders high school quarterback who we find out we're dating and that it was a sex at a love crime. And he's got two gay dads. Yeah. Who also killed the the transgender person's mom. Who's racist. Who's racist. Yeah. How, what? And sells drugs. Yeah, like, dude. Let's slow it down. Slow. I know. It's, it's Not slow. everyone does pills. No. There's very, there's, honestly, there's high schools out there. None of this happens. Yeah. You yeah. know? If I was in eighth grade and I watched 13 Reasons Why, I'd be fucking scared to go to high I'd be like, oh, oh my yeah. God, someone's going to drive a car through our fucking house yeah and then like in the beginning like watch this with your parents i was like what are we all gonna become better detectives what, what, what am i watching here you know it's like oh, that, i can't agree with you more <laughs> let's handle one fucking subject at a time I, it's just a lot for me to like get behind because i'm like i you listen i know that like you know school shootings are like very prevalent and it's honestly i'd be scared today to like sending my kid to school. It's yeah, scary. Of it's course. scary. It's scary. Cause Absolutely. it's happening more and more and more. I get that. But that 
on top of that, on top of that, on top of that, that I'm like, well, now we're getting crazy. Yeah, it's just that, it's like that's I wouldn't not... even let my kid out of the house if shit like this was happening at a specific school. Nor would anyone, by the way. Yeah. Who would be like, oh yeah, there was a murder. This girl committed suicide. Uh, you know, the, the Asian Indian, uh, uh, the gay kid, uh, the emo <laughs> girl, or whatever, got together at a coffee shop. And kind of like put this whole plan together. I'm not letting my kid go back to school. Fuck no. Fuck that group. And then, oh yeah. And then also the other guy tried to kill himself on the first season. And now he's fucking out here solving crimes. And then the guy sh- shot his head off. What What are we doing, Netflix? It's just a little. It's a little lack. And listen, we're we're playing pretend. It's <laughs> it's it's a show. It's exaggerated. Dial it back, though. <laughs> you know. You're going too far left. I'm, I'm going right. Yeah, <laughs> it's that, right. stage left. This is how confused I am. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, you know, that show, I, I just, it, it's a lot for me. Dude, if you even start season three, you're going to be like, this is the most ridiculous fucking thing I've Dude, ever seen. Dude, what happened to realistic high school shows? You remember in the 90s, it was like, oh, the nerdy girl gets tricked by the jock because there was a bet, and now she gets hot, and he goes, I really want to be with you, and then they're in love. It was, that was it. That was it. That was it. It was like, oh, guy meets girl. There's a there's a quarrel. Yeah. And he makes out with the cheerleader at the fucking party. And then, you know, the next week they're there together and they, you know, whatever, they kiss in a pool. Or like even back to the future when the guy Biff is getting too handsy with his future wife and he goes in there and knocks him out. That's it. Knock him out. Took yeah. care of it. Yeah, but you don't have to have her doing pills and fucking, you know what I'm saying? Have She's this, got a gu- waving a gun around. She's got 700 <laughs> tapes of some fucking shit she did. Yeah, you, you know? know what I'm saying? Yeah, what kind of dad... Uh, man, I don't want to give away euphoria, but I'm just saying. There's a lot of shit in that yeah. show. And it, this all stemmed from how she sat in a chair, and I wish I could do it. She sat in a chair with her knees up like this and her feet on the seat. Wait, what are you talking about? Like, what the fuck are you talking? You know about? how cats sit? Yeah, yeah. Like they could like this, and her feet were up on the seat. Okay. And it was per- and I tried to do it, and I can't do it. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> it has to be on the same seat. Like this? Yeah, I can't do that. Should I try? I mean, you got a, you got some power over there. Yeah, I've got a gut. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. Dude, I was doing yoga last night. I had to modify all the stuff to like get around my belly. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, "Go to Warrior One." I was like, "Got a little something in the way there." <laughs> go to Warrior One. It's like I'm gonna go to Warrior like point seven five. I told you what my heart rate got up to. Yeah, like one fifty. Like one fifty eight. Oh, that's like me in a dead sprint. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, I am the most out of shape person. Yo, in America. yoga is like not a joke though. No, it's like it's toughy tough. And it's like you have to. Uh, What's this word? You have to keep your everything like your core like activated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to activate all your muscles. And I was like, all right, this will be. F-. I was like, dude, I'm fucking sweating. It's seven minutes into the goddamn workout. I was like, oh my god, I'm done. Yeah, dude, it's fucking tough. You ever what? do hot yoga? I would die. Yeah, I would die. I, you, I was gonna say, don't recommend it. Yeah, no, Bikram yoga or whatever. And I sweat like that. Some girl I worked with, she was like, my mom has the studio. You should definitely come do it. I was like, I could barely breathe. When I go to the bathroom. I'm not going in there. Yeah, you know. I yeah. struggle to get my socks on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Fuck. Brushing my teeth makes my triceps hurt. <laughs> Have you ever had a moment where you real <laughs> makes my triceps hurt? <laughs> Have you ever had a moment where like you're in bed and you're like, dude, I can't even get up to brush my teeth right now. That's how lazy I am right now. Yeah. All the time, dude. Not in the morning, but at night. Yeah, that's what I'm. It's mostly yeah. at night. In the morning, it's like, dude, I'm not walking out with this shit mouth. Yeah, no, no way. <laughs> no way. I'm getting anywhere close to somebody with that shit mouth. Yeah, there's no way. Hey, God, amazing thing you did with the body there. Fix my fucking mouth hole, though. Yeah, Jesus. And then who's the fucking asshole that made all good food be bad for you? That tastes phenomenal. Also, like onions are sick. Why are you gonna make? Or like garlic's awesome. Yeah. Why do I got to smell like it for a week? Dude, I, I, I eat one fucking gyro. I smell Greek for like a week. <laughs> it's the worst. Can't stand it. You ever like eat something? It's disgusting. <laughs> and then it like comes through your pores and you're like, dude, I just smell sushi right oh, now. Oh, yeah. 
The worst is when you burp and it's like uh, everyone knows that it's you. That's me. Yeah. You know I had that. Disgusting. That roll. I really made that me that California burp. roll. Yeah. <laughs> California roll. Um oh the other thing I was gonna ask you too, we talked about it earlier in the week, and I want to see what people think about this. When I make phone calls to companies, you know, like if I have some business I have to handle with them, a lot of the times they need to use my my name. Obviously, they ask me for my name. You're right. I, I don't know what I just said. You're right. I said that. <laughs> I thought you said hurrah. And then I was like, what? I thought you went hurrah. I meant to say like, yeah. And I said, you're right. You're, uh, you're right. What the fuck was that? You're wrong. Yes. You're right. <laughs> You're wrong. What is happening? Oh man. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> Someone clip that. What time is it right now? Because I'm going right to that when I watch. <laughs> like an hour. All right, I'm going right you're to wrong. it. You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay. You knew it too, but you were like, I just want to see if you just like, didn't catch it. I was yeah. like, please go, keep going. <laughs> you're wrong. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, so you know how you got to give your name, right? <laughs> yeah. And we, me and Joe were talking about this. When you spell your name, you have to say letter as in word. Mm-hmm. That starts with that letter. So every time I do it, I go Danny, which is easy. They get that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then low priori, I'll say L-O-P as in Peter, R, I as in Igloo, O-R-E as in Edward. Mm-hmm. All right? And I asked Joe... What words he uses, he doesn't do that. I have never done it. That makes zero sense to me. Why? Because no one ever <laughs> on the phone has been like, "Hi, sir. Uh, uh, a N N, as in as in Nicholas or Michael." No one's ever said that to you. Maybe, but like, I feel like the N is the only one in my name. Like, I just break it up into threes. No, the last A name- A could be J K. No, no K. I'm just saying. If I say A and you heard K, whoa. But, but I don't, it, uh, it's on the phone then. You shouldn't be working on the phone then if you can't <laughs> differentiate those bad boys. I break it up into threes because there's nine letters. So I say S A N T A G A T O. I'm just, I can't believe it's never occurred to you to be like, I'm going to make this day's, this person's day a little easier. You know how long that would take me to be like S as in salamander, A as in alligator. You could use shorter syllables. N as in Knight Rider. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> It'd be funny if you did that, but you only use like sexual terms. S, S as in sex. X as in sucking. A as in anal. <laughs> N is Nip- not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nipples. T as in titties. A as in asshole. <laughs> It's like, sir, we get it. We know <laughs> we know how to spell. It. We have it in our system. What would G be? Gash. Yeah, or like goo. <laughs> <laughs> We're children. We are children. G's and goo. A, A is, as in <laughs> anal once again. Anal again. T as mm-hmm. in tomorrow. It's going down. <laughs> and, and O, o is, and oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> God. I can't believe you don't do that. It's so weird. I don't think it's that weird. I think it is. Well, it hasn't been a huge issue. Usually people, I say, they go, what's your last name? And I say, Santiago. And they go, Santiago? And I'm and like that baffles me. That I could literally say. No, that say, doesn't at all. How does that not baffle you? That Santiago. I, that someone, no. Santiago. I, I don't say that. Santiago. If someone, if you ask me my name and I go Santiago and you're gonna go Santiago and I go fucking no, you but it, just heard me. But if I don't know you, I could have misheard. You, you can't mishear if I'm in person <laughs> with you. If I can't mishear, you can't because if you just heard me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not true. Have you ever met anybody and been like, "Hey, what's up? My name is Andy." And you'd be like, "Danny, Andy." That's happened to you. That's happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Joe's easy. You can't fuck that up. I mean, in a loud, pl- in like a bar, when someone's like, hey, you know, like Andy? And you're like, no, Danny. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, dude. Yeah. But if we're just like at the bank and I'm like, Santiago, Santiago, I'm like, I don't know how you did that. Does that bother you when they do that? It doesn't bother like, me. I'm not Spanish. It's also. <laughs> Usually when people come up to me, because sometimes people come up to me on the street, but they'll call me Joe Santiago. 
Yo, you're my, Joe Santiago. Yeah, and my friends love that. Oh, my God. Because it's like they know you, but they don't, you know? So he, he's like, so people come up to me and say, are you Joe Santiago? And I'll always just say yes. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not going to correct someone. Yeah. Because, like, I get it, but I'm never like, it's Santiago. It's like when people call me Daniel, and Daniel's not my name. Yeah, Danny's real name is Danny. Like, yeah. on his fucking birth certificate is Danny. Which you were baffled by. It's that shocking news. <laughs> you were just like, yeah. It's not as shocking as a, you know, a fucking body hanging from a chandelier, <laughs> but, you know. Or fucking... Uh, it's on the spectrum. Scantilating fucking... Yeah, it is on the spectrum <laughs> of scantilating. Uh, yeah. But... Danny. Yeah, and I remember he was like, yo, I need, like, your name for, like, your, you know, for work, for the paperwork. And I was like, Danny. He was like, oh, come on, dick. Like, like Daniel, right? And I was like, no, my name's Danny, dude. And he was just like, that's mad weird. That is. Yeah. I've never met another Danny ever. There isn't any. No. It's there's so pe- easy there's, for the government to watch you. There's people. No, nah, because they got my dad. Shout out to my dad. Your dad's also Danny? Yeah. He's not Daniel. Yeah. I don't uh, No, But I have a cousin named Daniel. Yeah. Now that's normal. What are you trying to say? That you're abnormal. Your name is abnormal. <sighs> yeah. But I like it. I think it's cool. I have a Y in my first name. You ever like, think you ever think about shit like that? Like you have Santa in your name. Yeah. It's weird. No. Yeah. Why is that weird? Because it's Saint something. What does Gatto mean? Cat. Yeah, but what does it mean in Italian though? Fucking no. Like Saint Gate. The Gate. Gate Saints. I, I doubt that. I could look it up. Google Translate that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to figure that out. I wonder what gatto means in Italian. It probably also means cat. Dude, I've been using Google Translate like a lot. Yeah, I love that. Google Translate. I don't know. Why. I love the shit out of it because I'll just my doorman throw words in there. My doorman speaks Spanish, so I'm working on like my advanced Spanish now. I talk to him every day, like try to get new stuff. I'm on Google Translate all the time. Really? Yeah. Also, I was using Google Translate like crazy in Sweden. <laughs> I did help. Italian to English. Gato is gato. Gato is gato. That's so not like how you say it. Oh, that's how you say it? Uh, all right, so I'll put. How do you say cat? In Italian. Well, I'll go English to yeah. That's what I'm saying. I gotta go English to Italian now. Got gata or a gato with two T's is cat. All so right, it so, is cat. So maybe they changed it at at. Ellis Island. Ellis Island. So they, I think maybe I'm they like, dropped a T off. Pretty, Joey Gatto. Yeah, that's straight up cats. That's straight up cat. Joey Joey cat. Yeah, so Joe, Joe Cat. So I'm like the saint of You're, cats. Yeah. But fuck cats because I'm allergic to those bitches. But you kind of, you could be a cat. I'm kind of catty? Yeah, you're kind of catty. You, got, got, you have catty eyes. Right? Yeah. I you, could sneak around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do have catty eyes. I never noticed that until today. Oh, I got cat eyes? Yeah, but like they're sexy though. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have, you, god damn, slow it down on them. <laughs> Woo! Only go full throttle. You know what's good though? You don't have white people lips. You got nice lips on you. <laughs> Thank God, bro. You know, you ever see those white people that are just like, yeah, bro, my mom. Damn, she better not be watching. Oh, me. damn, you sunned your mom. Too. Yeah, I guess I saw my mom. My mom's lips are like. <laughs> 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 yo, her lips, man. Yeah, we're not. We're not I yo, I never noticed. Yo, Josh, I know you're watching this. Don't clip that. Yeah, no, 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 no way. She's got to just. That's just not. Yeah, yeah, be. yeah. Nah, be it. Nah, I mean, yeah, my mom was beautiful and everything, but <laughs> wasn't blessed with lips. But I get it. <laughs> I feel bad. I brought it up now. But like, <laughs> no, I'm just being funny. Aside from your mom, though. No, I'm just. Have being you ever funny. looked at somebody and just be like, yo, that motherfucker got no lips, dog? Yeah, because like, you know, at at least like, you know, you could look at my mom and be like, I can see that she has lips. <laughs> but you can see other white people and be like, I'm not even sure if you're like tucking your lips in. Yeah, something about that scares. They don't me. even have like, you know how lips are a different color than your cheeks. Yes, yes, yes. You're like, yo, I just see cheek. Yeah. I'm like, where does the lip like this be? is a human skull I'm talking to right now. <laughs> You know, it's like, dude, are you thirsty? Yeah, like, like, God damn, dude, lick your fucking like, mouth. You're all dried up, bro. <laughs> Take a fucking shower. Yeah, man. But you do. You lips some, are a big deal. You got some good lips on you. Do I? I, I think, think we I, both have good lips. I have yeah. one good lip. My bottom lip's like cool. My upper lip could, it needs some work. But like, what do you mean? Like I don't think my, that's a good lip, dude. You think my top lip's cool, dude? You got a good mouth. I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think my bottom lip is like a, like it's super solid, and it's probably like the centerpiece behind my whole face. Nah, dude. So, if somebody smooches that face, they're going for a ride. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm saying like that my lip is like probably like my bottom lip is like what pulls it all together, like the glue of my face. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. would say that. I would say that. And then my upper lip. But your upper lip is nice too, though. Why are you hating on your lips, man? You got I'm not good hate, lips, bro. I'm not hating on my lips. I'm hating on my lip hip. All Just right, so, one lip, so, singular so lip. So what, what would be I'm your ideal? Hating. What would be your ideal top lip? I like, you know, maybe like point two of a centimeter added to the top lip. Oh, you want a bigger top lip? Yeah, a little bit. Damn, you want all that cushion? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I can tell you right now. I mean, look at that. What do you mean, dude? A lot of people are gonna flick their bean in this episode. <laughs> Keep puffing those babies out. A lot, of, a lot of freeze framing this week. Yeah, the boy puffs them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you ever see? <laughs> you better fucking say it now. I, I'm happy we do share the 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 same. Like <laughs> when people like don't have like lips, kind of scares us a little bit. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Who likes that? Nah. You gotta have something. Yeah. You can't just have like you know. There's got to be a discoloration, at least. Let me get something. Let me get, like, something, man. Yeah. Or just, like, you just be smiling, then. For sure. Like, if I had no lips, I would just be smiling a whole bunch. Because, like, when I smile, you can't really see that many lips. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, my yeah, lips yeah. kind of, like, they get thinner, and maybe they disappear a little bit. Yeah. And you're like, all right, happy guy. I could get down with that. Yeah. But just, like, and I feel like I can see into your mouth and shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. don't smile so big in your pictures. Not you. Yeah. I'm just saying when people... You know what's weird? When people open their eyes wide for pictures. Oh, uh, yeah. It's freaky. What is that about? Yeah, it's like the, guy, the photographer had a gun. Yeah, it's just like... You know what You know what else I hate? I'm like, like, why are you doing that? Your eyes look fine. You're supposed to be squinty-eyed when you're smiling yeah. a little bit. Yeah. People always tell me I look Chinese when I, when I smile, like, really wide. Let me see. Like, when I... Yeah, it's Chinese. Yeah, see? Yeah. So I can get a little. So people are always like, "Yo, I bet you got a little Asian in you." I was like, "I don't know." You know, like I'll be I like, said, I mean, that's extremely racist, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, you know what? Twenty three and me, we'll figure this out. All right. So this is gonna get yo twenty three and me. Send us a couple fucking kids. <laughs> I would do that shit. What I gotta like spit in a bottle and yeah. send it to the government? Yeah. So fucking Jeffrey Epstein can make a clone of me on his fucking <laughs> island? Fuck that. And fuck the shit out of your clone. Uh, yeah, yo, yeah, probably fucking ruin me. Real quick, I know you have Wait, something. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I just want to say something real quick because I don't want to. I don't know if I should say it. All right, let me do mine and then you th you think about it. Okay. All right. If you had a clone of yourself, would you fuck your clone? No, man. I would fuck my clone. Why? Because I want to see what, I, what I'm working with. I want to see if I can give good head. I would get head for my clone. That is about the most ridiculous thing maybe ever said on this show. Is it gay? Oh, yeah. That's some form of gay. No, it's, that, it's me, dude. No, I'm I, sucking yeah, me. Yeah, but that's on the spectrum. It's on. It's, it's you can't scantilating. Just, yo, it's, oh, well, that's definitely scantilating. <laughs> yeah. But like, if you if you do yoga, you keep doing yoga, and then you could throw your legs over your head and start sucking yourself. No, no, no. That's different. Uh, now that now I'm I'm sucking myself. That's what I'm, you sucking but, yourself with this. No, but no, but I'm one person. I'm one unit sucking my own thing. Yeah. But if I had a perfectly same clone You're as me. You're sucking another man, though. No, it's a clone. It's, it's not another, a real man. But it's a different bodied man. You wouldn't let your clone suck your dick. No, man. You're, I'm not into fucking. First of all, I'm not fucking no clone because I don't know what kind of like clone diseases they have. All right, and don't two, fuck it. Not into dudes. I'm just saying I would want to know. If I'd be good sucking that thing. I know, but you could just ask somebody. Yeah, but that's too much work. And then you got to worry about what, if they're going to tell somebody. I could just ask. I'd be like, yo, gay clone. He's going to. Oh, yeah. I can fetch my. I could send my clone to suck other cocks. Yeah. You, well, you didn't think of that one? Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> you said immediately was like, I need to get. Because, yo, what if you love it? Now you're just like, that's weird. That's a weird life to live. Nah, dude, forward. you love yourself, dude. Huh? That's like a Black Mirror episode when you really think about that. Yeah. You can't have, you can't be walking around like with yourself and like loving, you know, your own mouth. Like, well, then know? people would think you were just weird twins. Yeah, yo, that's like, in, it's like, yo, that crosses it's not, so many. Yo, honestly, like, <laughs> biologically, that would confuse your body. 
and you'd probably die. If I came into myself? If you loved you oh. and and fucked your clone, like I think your body would be like, I don't, is this me? It's got my shit, would but I, also... And then also, like maybe I would start thinking I was the clone. Or that's what I'm saying. You get confused. Like, I don't know if I'm even me or who I am. <laughs> it's you know like, what I'm saying? It's like those scenes where there's two and like one person has to shoot like the real one. Yeah. Nobody would know. No. You wouldn't be able to look at yourself. Bro, think about like, that's like, like kind of gay, kind of <laughs> incest, kind of uh, fucking just like straight up strange. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And like... Yo, when you think about it, you can't do the incest <laughs> thing. You can't like make you can't if you ha make kids with someone in, with your DNA. You know what I'm saying? It's like all those things. Yeah, yeah. It's very Thirteen Reasons Why ish. It's a lot of things happening at it's once. It's like one season packed into one situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, yo, there's a lot happening yeah, here. Yeah, uh, it's hard to follow. And who knows what could come of that? Your body could get so confused and you die. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. You gotta just shut that down, man. Get uh, rid of that thought. Yeah, I won't maybe just send him out in the world and let someone else like report back. Yeah, I, I I won't let my clone suck me. I just saved your fucking life. Yeah, you did. God, yo, thank you, man. Appreciate it. I don't know where I go sometimes, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. Sometimes you get excited. But yeah, you really gotta think about this. No, you're right. You're right. Because you know, scientifically, it just doesn't like. There's a lot of different like paths yeah. you're crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't care if you suck a clone. You want to suck a clone or get sucked by a different clone? Oh, yeah, maybe I could suck the clone. He could just tell me. But he's no, me, it's so the he the same might be thing, not... though. You're going oh. back to... God damn it. It's got to be someone else's clone. Oh, okay. It can't be your clone. Wait, my clone can only suck other clones? No, 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 no. I'm saying he... Like, if if, if Johnny down the street has a clone... Right. You guys if my clone suck were to... each other. Oh, okay. All right. Like, And that would be fine. But you... Because then that would just be like a... Uh, you know, a weird... Like, that would be like a... a, like a I don't even know. It'd be like, yo, cloning humans can't be fucking, man. Yeah, you can't fuck yourself. There's You're just right. too much like weird DNA stuff going on there. Yeah. So it would be like the weird DNA stuff with, and then it's like a gay relationship. And then, but at least it wouldn't also be like kind of incest, but also like this weird meta yeah. sort of situation. That would kind of cause your head to melt. It'd probably mess up like with like the time continuum too. It would probably like, changes like a timeline because when you think about it we do we are like there's electricity running through our body yeah and that would just throw water on the whole operation and it, we'd shut down god damn it you're right so no you're right you're right science prevails that being said clones are gonna get fucked one day yeah for sure dude i'm telling you this in the next 50 years pe like mad rich people are gonna be able to clone themselves like they'll be an oprah clone Dude, imagine that that a Jeffrey Epstein cloned himself. He probably he probably tried. He probably had like a bunch. He probably had like scientists there, and there's like they're living underground. Yeah, living off the earth, and they're like you know what I'm saying, like a bunch of weird, and all fucking each other, messing with the with the whole like universe. Honestly, I wonder if like America's ever tried to clone a human and it just went drastically wrong and came out like. Ah! Yeah, probably. Kill me. Didn't they didn't they clone sheep? Yeah. And I think a woman cloned her dog once. Like a rich bitch. I mean, it probably costs a pretty penny to clone anything. I'll clone my dog though. For sure. I'd clone a dog. Yeah. All right. Um man, this is have has been a ride, I'll be honest with you. It's this, been one hell of a ride. It's probably one of the most fun episodes I've had. We went everywhere, man. Yeah. And it was like Full throttle the whole time. Yeah, there, there's a it was, it was high octane today. Scantilating yeah. episode. Oh, scantilating, one hundred percent. Um, before we do go though, I want to read some of these names of our patrons on the show. Um, if you're in a certain tier, you know we're supposed to read your name, and we just haven't done it in a while. So I want to do that, and I apologize, but that's just me forgetting, it, and that's just like you know what I'm saying. But I remembered. Wait, it. Is that just in a, in the midst of all that clone shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just remembered. So we have some names. Um, uh, Joel Johnson. Shout out to the man Joel. Uh, Ruben Castillo. Angelica Visaraga. Mm. My God. Was that a stage name? That shit sounds crazy. Lolita Express. Ryan Stashko. Eddie Chavez. Isaac Ross. Lissy Lee. Damn. What does Lissy Lee sound like? <laughs> 
porn star. Yeah. Uh, Giovanni Morales, Ben Malone, Jacqueline McCoy, Stephanie New- Newland, uh, Mo Alcandari, Taylor Marie Rose. Everyone knew a Taylor yeah. Marie Rose in high school. They dude. were just the salt of the earth. Her too. her parents bought a party bus for like your sophomore the class. Sweetest girl in the world, but you never could get her. She was always <laughs> dating somebody else, right? Yeah. It's like you know, and you and you kind of you thought you had a thing, like there was a thing. There was a moment. There was a moment, but but it never got there. Ever? No, not even close in her mind. Uh, Alex Bowman, uh, Kevin Quadrado. Allison DeBraccio. Ooh, DeBraccio. But no, hey, oh! <laughs> Daniel K., Nora B., Joel Schulman, uh, Schumann, uh, Robin Dominique, Janice Chislow, Sebastian Hjort. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Curtis Wilson, Tiffany Davis, Elias Basha, uh, and- Andres Baez, uh, Eddie Rajiv. Pronounce that wrong. Uh, Sonny Sparks. Okay. Fire. Hello. Porn. Uh, David. <laughs> uh, Trey Jackson. Julie Lose. Justin Kahn. Sydney Patterson. Jonathan England. Uh, Tony D'Angelo. We got, oh, Tony Eglin, I wanted to say. All right. So I just I wanted to read some of them. Um, jo- Josh Vey. Alex Parker. Thomas Brown. Megan Falcone. Ronan Tinsley, uh, shout out to all you guys, man. I, you know, eventually we're gonna get to all these names. I wanted to mention you guys on the show this week, uh, but yeah, Caesar Castillo, Zach Manley, Marvin Malay, keep going, baby. Andrew Jackson. Damn, that's Andrew a founding, Jackson. That's a founding God, father. Damn, son, I thought he was dead. Yeah, Jessica Nicole, Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Valles, Marcus Smith, Robin uh, Nannan. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sam Chapman and the last one we'll do today is Rachel Moves so shout out to you guys appreciate you guys uh, being patrons of the show if you want to check out our Patreon you can go to patreon.com slash the basement yard uh, you get some uh, extra content you get a new uh, a fresh episode every month exclusive just for Patreon um, that we do there uh, there's some Q&A content there, and you get every episode a week early. So go check that out, patreon.com slash the basement yard. We appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And, yeah, Danny, you got you want to plug something? Or yeah, what? just uh, at Danny Lopriere on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure to go check out the Stank Podcast with me and Mr. Frank Alvarez talking about your favorite movies, boobies, and video game tubies at, at the Stank Podcast on Instagram and on YouTube. Yeah, go go follow the Stank Podcast on YouTube. Also, I set up a page for uh, San Agato Studios, like all the content that comes out of here. Just go to facebook.com slash the San Agato Studios, um, and everything's going to be posted on there. So if you have Facebook, you utilize that. It'll pop up on your timeline. But the Stank, other people's lives, my shit, this shit, everything will be up there. So we out here. Out. Uh, but yeah, that is all. See you guys next time. Buy the fanny packs. Fanny, fanny up. Fanny up. Fanny up.